it's Hannah from Love Learning Tutors. How are you today? It's been a long time uh, since I've done one of these tutorials, hasn't it? Well, either way. So I'm back and I want to uh, teach you lots of tips and tricks to help you with your online learning over the summer holidays, particularly the 11 plus students. It must be quite tricky um, navigating this time and I want to make sure that you're feeling ready and supported for your exams in January. But this is a rule that everyone can use. So today we're gonna to talk about the digit rule. So the digit rule is a trick, a really quick trick to help you figure out something's divisible by three. Now, why do I wanna know whether something's divisible by three? Because the maths question asked. Um, usually it's, uh, it's helpful for figuring out factors. Um, so if something's divisible by three, um, yeah. Uh, or if you have to figure out if something's a prime number or not, it might come in quite useful as well. So, uh, very, very simple stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so let's get to it. I hope my hand doesn't shake too much. So, for example, if we wanted to look at any number, so let's just say 247, for example. So the way that I figure out whether it's divisible by 3 is first I add the digits. So I say, okay, 2 plus 4 plus 7. So 2 plus 4 plus 7. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. And is 13 in the 3 times table? 13 is not in the 3 times table. Times table. So... 224, uh, 247 um, is also not. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so let's say 2, 4, 7, 5, 6, for example. So that's 24,756. So let's try add up the digits now. So Put little pluses in between let's see what it adds up to so 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 7 is 13 13 plus 5 is 18 18 plus 6 is 24 this time 24 is in the three times table it's a multiple of 3 which means this is like a therefore situation these three dots which means that two four two twenty four thousand seven hundred and fifty six is also divisible divisibly divisible <laughs> by three do you ever say one thing and write something else i think because i'm filming it as well i'm doing it by accident but yeah that's how you do it so you add the digits and if what the total is, isn't divisible by 3, then your initial number is not divisible by 3. If your total, after adding the digits, is in the 3 times table, then it means your initial number was also in the 3 times table. And it's as easy as that. Um, so now you have a party trick up your sleeve. So when you're at dinner with your family and friends, you can uh, say, ask me any number from zero to a billion, whether it's divisible by three. And I can just figure it out with my mind. Um, but, you know, there are a lot of these kind of tricks that do definitely help speed things up, especially if you're in a test environment and you don't have the time to do the full division and everything else. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Please message me, let me know if you have anything that you want to learn in particular that I can help you out with, any um, any tricky bits, anything that you're finding tough, I would like to help. And if you're interested in our 11 plus uh, courses, our boot camp, um, it'll be really, really good fun. They're in um, groups of six maximum and using our interactive whiteboard and everyone gets a turn. And they're a lot cheaper than our normal lessons too. <laughs> so it's a great way to experience some tuition if maybe it's a little bit too pricey. Or if you just want to learn with other people, I think that's really nice. Um, you can motivate each other and learn from each other's questions. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.